हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग सिमेट्री एनालिसिस फॉर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल सी दैट हाउ टू रिकवर ली ग्रुप फ्रॉम इन्फिनटिजिमल्स एज यू नो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस दैट हाउ यू कैन फाइंड द इन्फिनटिजिमल्स बाय यूजिंग द इन्फिनटिजिमल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशंस एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो टोल्ड यू दैट वट इज़ द बेनिफिट ऑफ फाइंडिंग इन्फिनटिजिमल डेफिनेटली इट विल कन्वर्ट योर given differential equation into separable equation and then you can easily find its solution now students here we will see that how uh, by using the infinitesimals we can recover a lie group now students let's say uh, you are given the infinitesimals like capital x of xy is equals to 1 and capital y is equals to 2x now students in the previous lecture i have told you that uh, when we are finding the infinitesimals then we get uh, two formulas for finding capital x and capital y now here we are given capital x and capital y so we will use its values there for example you know dx bar over d epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 is equal to uh, capital x of xy and in the similar way dy bar by d epsilon at epsilon is equal to 0 is equal to capital y of xy that means uh, when we um, impose the condition epsilon is equal to 0 then x bar is equal to x and y bar is equal to y or i can write here that at epsilon is equal to 0 we will get the identity transformation like x bar is equals to x and y bar is equals to y so i can rewrite these formulas as like if i don't use the condition at epsilon is equal to 0 then i can write dx bar by d epsilon is equal to capital x of x bar and y bar now students uh, just see the difference like here i have used the condition that epsilon is equal to 0 and that's why i have only write x and y but here i am writing x bar and y bar because we are neglecting this condition okay and the other one will become dy bar by d epsilon is equal to capital y of x bar and y bar and now students uh, you know you are given the value of capital x and y okay so you can write it as capital x of x bar y bar is equals to 1 and capital y is equal to 2x bar because we are finding basically we are writing this na x bar y bar is equals to 2x bar okay now students uh say this is equation number 1 uh this is 2 and this is 3 now students if you use uh 1 into 2 like this one then you will get dx bar by d epsilon is equals to 1 and in the similar way this is what 2 implies and 3 implies um dy bar by d epsilon is equal to capital y and the value of capital y is equal to 2x bar now students uh if you differentiate first equation like you can write it as uh d epsilon and also you have to mention this condition that at epsilon is equal to 0 capital uh, sorry x bar is equals to x and y bar is equals to y this is what you need to write here now students if you integrate it on both sides because these are both of these are differentials then you will get x bar is equals to epsilon plus uh some function constant of some constant function or uh, you will say that uh, c is arb it is not a constant function it is arbitrary function of its arguments okay now students this is the value of x bar now if we impose the initial conditions like at x bar epsilon is equal to 0 i will write here at epsilon is equal to 0 x bar is equal to x and y bar is equal to y so there is no need uh, no value of y here so i will replace it with like x bar will become equal to x and epsilon is equal to 0 plus constant like a uh, function arbitrary function cxy now students from here you can see that the value of c is x so if i replace my values in equation number 4 then i will get x bar is equal to epsilon 
plus x or you can write it as x plus epsilon this is the value of x bar okay now we will find the value for y bar now students i will i will write here the value dy bar over d epsilon dy bar by d epsilon is equals to 2x bar and we will also write down the initial condition that is at epsilon is equal to 0 x bar is equal to x and y bar is equals to y now students if we will write here dy bar by d epsilon and we will substitute the value of x bar that is 2 into x plus epsilon now we will get dy bar is equal to 2x plus 2 epsilon times d epsilon and if we will integrate on both sides then we will get y bar is equals to 2x is a constant term because we are integrating it with respect to epsilon so i will write here 2x epsilon plus 2 and uh, we will apply the rule here so uh, like addition rule that is um, 1 add in the power and divided by the added power okay and plus c of x of y okay and now students here here you will get 2x epsilon plus epsilon square plus c of x of y now if you impose the initial conditions like i will write here imposing initial condition and the initial condition is that add epsilon is equal to 0 x bar is equal to x and y bar is equal to y so you will get here y uh, is equals to because here we will write y uh, here we will put epsilon 0 epsilon 0 and here we will get c so if i use the value of c out here like in this equation then i will get y bar is equal to y uh, plus 2x epsilon plus epsilon square and this is the value of y bar so students we have got the value x bar is equal to x plus epsilon and y bar is equal to y plus 2x epsilon plus epsilon squared and this is the Lie group okay now students in this lecture i have discussed that how we can if we are given the infinitesimals like capital x and capital y then how we can use a complete procedure and we can find the general form of a Lie group and this is all about this lecture. Thank you so much.